Coming up next is the UFC heavyweight division collision. Starts it all. He fights behind this beautiful educated jab, jabbing high, jabbing low, and then the overhand right is unbelievable. It's his kill shot, he calls it, and he lands it all the time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of five wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, he is a former UFC heavyweight champion. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Seattle, Washington, USA, Iron. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch gloves and we are underway. Ready. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Ooh, what a punch. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming out. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Big body kick. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Clinch. Now he's got the Muay Thai club. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh. And there comes the separation now. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Nice body kick right up the elbow. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position. Who's going to be the first one to attempt the takedown? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh! Oh, straight right! Just misses there with the left. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Head Both kick. fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, yes, it is a lost guard in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right to the chin, too. 
Yeah, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. The ground and pound has been there all night. Oh, looks like he's transitioning an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. Gotta be careful, armbar. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. And this might just be a matter of time. Brilliant submission defense there. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pack for this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's attacking armbar now. You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off, and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. And this might just be a matter of time. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. All right, right into side control. Up with body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase oh, guillotine. Yeah. But the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten the out and just go for the finish. All right, we look back at some of the replays from that previous round. DC, a lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action first round, both landed, multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take it. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down with the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Beautiful leg kick throw. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Right hand punches the clinch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Stuff to take down, no problem. Straight punch lands. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. He can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Oh, oh, big knee! Trying to shut the liver down. Got a single collar tie. 
Oh, looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. the takedown, it wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have. Now he sees the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he go parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat, chest to the back. And he's out. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Oh, the ground and pound is there. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys just start throwing up legs, chasing triangle. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity bad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. And he landed the right hand there. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Thirty seconds to go. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here, and if you're the opponent. You got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop. You got to defend, but you can see him now starting to gain posture, and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Ooh, what a punch! Oh, single collar tie here. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is. You can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. You train way too hard because you're looking great, all right? Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? He's giving you so many different things right now. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Nice kick. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Back to the feet. Muay Thai plump. And now he's got the tie clinch. That's a great punch. Does a lot of damage when you hit him in the body that week. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. 
Uh, a little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent. You gotta be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Right hand punches the clinch. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves his first. We'll finish his fight. Oh, how about the transition to the ankle pick? Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances in this position. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together. Tonight, he has landed a ton of significant strikes and it's a pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, he does it again. Takes this fight right back to the ground one more time. This is exactly what he told us. Now he's trying to guillotine. He's attacking guillotine. He might get a finish here. Oh, looks like he's countering here with maybe a Von Flew. He's got the side mount. And now, all of a sudden, his opponent's in trouble. May want to bail on that guillotine sooner rather than later. And that will do it! He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year near perfect execution tonight. Now we go inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 30 seconds of round number three. With a winner by submission, Rosna! All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was a very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did just that.